Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I am beyond excited right now, so let's just get right to the chase. Greg Berlanti kind of confirmed Green Lantern yesterday uh, for Arrow, Season 4. And if not Season 4, you know, future Arrow or Flash seasons. Like, you know, maybe Arrow Season 6, and or Flash Season 3 or 4, so, yeah. Uh, now, you're probably wondering, that's, that's like a big thing right there, that he kind of confirmed it. So just take a minute to soak that in and let me try to explain this. So basically, there he released a picture yesterday, official from Arrow Season 4, and it said, it was like kind of like a postcard, really. Uh, but it was on a piece of paper, and it had the official Arrow Season 4 logo with all the copyright stuff. And it was a picture of Coast City, and it said, Welcome to Coast City, and it's like in Blackest Day... It, you know, Darkest Night, or, you know, you know the whole Green Lantern phrase. So, uh, or not, Blackest Day, what am I saying? Blackest Night. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, it was a really, really intense thing. Um, uh, yeah, it's, just take that in, you know? I'm still processing that now, because we've really, we've gotten all of these big, you know, references to, yeah, you know, Green Lantern will come at some point. Uh, you know, in The Flash, they mentioned that pilot disappearing. Oliver is really, he's going to Coast City. He's going to Coast City. They, pos they cast this, uh, this possible Carol Ferris. We don't know if she's going to be Carol Ferris, but she's a female, a major female character that impacted uh, Oliver's life in his year four flashback. So... You know, uh, it's possible that's Carol Ferris. Now, a lot of people are going ahead and just saying, and they're, they're you know, truly speculating that, like, this is probably just not going to happen with Green Lantern. It was either a tease or something to throw that off, uh, to throw us off. You know, really, Greg Berlanti, the whole team, they've said that they really can't do much with the Green Lantern character, Hal Jordan. Um, and most likely characters like, uh, you know, John Stewart as well, because he's the main one. Uh, but, you know, I don't think anybody's ever thought, like, what if they decided to completely scrap that? Or, like, what if they used uh, the Alan Scott Green Lantern, in the, you know, from Earth 2, but they made him in Earth 1? You know, like, what if he was the pilot that, that disappeared? My guess is that DC Comics movies, you know, the DC Cinematic, or, you know, Universe that they are not going to end up using Alan Scott, at least anytime soon. You know, what about Kyle Rayner? You know, what about Guy Gardner? Like, there's all there's other Green Lanterns that they could decide to use. So it's a very interesting. It's a very interesting. Um, really, I don't think we're going to end up seeing Green Lantern in Arrow Season 4. I don't... There's a chance we could see Hal Jordan in Arrow Season 4. Uh, really, what I'm expecting is them to eventually bring on a version of Green Lantern. Uh, now, you have to keep this in mind. I, I, I understand that the Flash movie was not confirmed uh, you know, until after the Flash CW show came out. But honestly, they're doing a TV show about the Flash. When, you know, okay, we saw that back in the 90s or whatever, but they're doing a quality show about The Flash, who is a core DC Comics character. When people think of DC Comics, The Flash is one of them that pops up. Green Lantern is also. Green Arrow is another massive character. They have two TV shows, you know, about two really core DC Comics members. Now, I don't see what the whole point, you know, the whole point of, like, teasing... Hal Jordan and Green Lantern is, and then releasing a picture like this, and then just being like, ah, we got you guys, that's not happening even a little bit. Like, that's just such a, like, you know, such a jerk move, you know? It's not, it's, it is a, a little, it will be a little upsetting if that doesn't happen. I mean, they, he literally put the word, these are, that's Green Lantern's catchphrase, you know? That's what the Lanterns say. They put that on this, like, postcard official picture, you know, so I really, I'm really, really hoping they at least use Hal Jordan, and if not Hal Jordan, then John Stewart, and if not John Stewart, then Guy Gardner, and if not Guy Gardner, then Alan Scott, and if not Alan Scott, then Kyle Rayner, and they, honestly, they don't have to, I don't expect to see an actual Green Lantern suit, I don't expect them to show a ring, I expect them to show a Green Lantern before he's actually Green Lantern. So, you know, if they decided to use Hal Jordan, I'd expect 
them to use Hal Jordan before he even gets close to getting the ring. So, and you know, they really, they don't even have to bring him on as a, as a series regular for the flashbacks. Think about how they utilized Barry Allen. Now, Barry Allen, if that, if he was an unsuccessful character, Barry Allen, they wouldn't have done a Flash spinoff show, and he, the Barry Allen character would have just been reoccurring. So you have to think about it. Well, if they decided to use Hal Jordan, and let's say they, they cast somebody as just Hal Jordan, they use him in like two or three episodes in the flashbacks, and then he just disappears, okay? And something like that happens. And everybody just goes crazy, and everybody loves it. Everybody loves the show with Hal Jordan. Then, Greg Berlanti, Mark Guggenheim, Andrew Kreisberg, they can be like, see, they can go to DC, they can go to DC's headquarters, Warner Brothers, and they can be like, see, we told you, we told you, people want a Green Lantern show. Uh, and, you know, honestly, if you think about a Green Lantern TV show, that seems like the most unrealistic thing ever, because most of it would end up taking place in, up in space, or at least, if not most of it, a really, really good portion of it. Um, and I just feel like that would be so hard for them to use. You know, they don't have a big budget. You know, they make their special effects look really good in The Flash, but it's like they're not, they, they, those are just, those are really cheap effects polished off to make them look really expensive. That's that, you know, the grad, like, I don't even know how they did that, but it worked, you know, so my, my point is, like, I just, you can't expect to see a Green Lantern spinoff, but I really feel like the chances of seeing a Green Lantern before he is actually Green Lantern is gonna ha is, will happen, and if it doesn't happen this season, like, I definitely feel like this is a nod off to saying, like, you, there, there is some sort of Green Lantern or a, some sort of Hal Jordan or John Stewart in this universe. There is somebody that exists like that in this universe. The thing is, we just, we might not see their story. You know, we might not get to see the Green Lantern story. I mean, for all we know, Hal Jordan is up in space or John Stewart's up in space, you know, fighting, fighting, you know, Sinestro. We don't, we mean, it's so hard. We don't even know. We don't know what the hell's going on. But basically, they've kind of said that there is, with everything that we've gotten about this Green Lantern character, it's like, and Ferris Air and everything, it's like, there is a Hal Jordan, there is a Jon Stewart. They, you know, he or they both exist in this universe. We just might not see their story. And that's what I'm looking at. And that's what I'm excited about, because it's not as much the fact that we, like, if we don't see Green Lantern on screen, and if, let's say we don't even, we probably will never see a Green Lantern TV show, and we most likely won't see him on screen, but the whole fact that there is some sort of Green Lantern that exists in this universe, that's pretty amazing, uh, just the concept of that. Uh, you know, and if Supergirl will, you know, let's say Supergirl ends up crossing over with Flash and Arrow when Supergirl gets to season two, or if Supergirl gets to season two, then it's like, whoa, you know, let's say, you know, Supergirl briefly just does a minor crossover with the Flash. Like, let's just say, like, the crossover is basically, you know, Kara Zor-El as Supergirl in her suit flying over Central City, and she just sees the speedster running. She's like, hey, I wonder what that is. Just the fact, they don't, that's all they would have to do. Just the fact that the Flash, Arrow, Supergirl has crossed over with a Green Lantern in this universe. Now, because of you, you've crossed Supergirl over, a Superman exists in this universe. You know, it's like none of these stories need to meet. We don't need to see Batman's story, but it would be sick if, you know, Bruce Wayne, we just, we just got like a minor mention. Oh yeah, Bruce Wayne's in this universe, but we're not going to show him. It'd be okay. So I feel like that's sort of how they're going to attack and approach the Green Lantern characters, you know. Um, but I'm really excited for this. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what they do. And, you know, if they don't use a Hal Jordan, you know, uh, I'm, I'm expecting them to just really heavily use Carol Ferris. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about Green Lantern coming. I know I've done videos on this in the past, but this was just too big to pass up. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click, share, like, subscribe. Go check out our Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3 Lash and Inhumans video. And go check out our Disney Infinity 3.0 Star Wars gameplay review.
It is such an awesome game. If you're a Disney Infinity fan or if you're a Star Wars fan, check it out. It's awesome. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.